Now, Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Amber Kulin with 31 Triple Doppler. So we finally have some rain in the forecast. We do. It's a pretty warm morning though. I mean, you said 70 degrees out in the shoals. I and know, it... yeah. It is crazy weather we're mm -hmm. having. So you'll need the rain jackets today, but you'll need the coats by the weekend. Uh, switching <laughs> well, in my closet. <laughs> let's go ahead and dive into this forecast. Here's a look at Albertville this morning. Things are quiet to start you out on this Thursday, but like I said, go ahead and grab that umbrella or that rain jacket. Hopefully you spent yesterday trying to look for it because I know you haven't needed it for a while, but you'll need it as we head into the next few days here. 61 right now in Albertville with a southwest wind at seven miles per hour and 31 triple Doppler quiet and dry this morning for now, but that will change as we move into the afternoon hours today. Your current temperatures across the Tennessee Valley, 65 right now in Huntsville. It's 61 in Decatur, 58 in Moulton. And as we head into the next few hours here, temperatures will warm up into the 60s, but we're not going to warm up very much from there as we move into the afternoon hours today. The 80s, well, they're not going to be anywhere in the next 10 days. So here's what we're looking at for the next few hours. Temperatures will warm into the 70s, but cloud cover today will keep those temperatures cooler than what we've seen over the past few days. As we head into the afternoon and even into the evening hours, that's when we'll start to see our rain chances go up. Overnight tonight will be our best chance of some very beneficial rain. It's not going to get us out of the drought, but we'll take anything we can get. As we head into Friday, may see a few more light showers throughout the day, but it does look like the bulk of the rainfall will be out of here by the time we're kicking off for those playoff games tomorrow evening. So here's what we're looking at right now. This is our setup across the southeast. We have this cold front off to our west, and that is what's going to move into the Tennessee Valley as we head into the evening and the overnight hours tonight. Bring in with it that very beneficial rain, and we will get the latest drought monitor this morning. So keep checking back as we head deeper into the morning and I'll have the latest on that come midday to see if that drought has worsened over the past week. So over the next few days here, rain is likely for your Friday and this could mean your Friday morning commute. So make sure that you are keeping up to date with that, giving yourself a few extra minutes on those roadways tomorrow. Showers will remain possible both Saturday and Sunday. So this gives you a reason to be lazy over the weekend. For that Friday night playoff game of the week, Center Point versus Hartzell. So this is what we're looking at right about kickoff time, 55 for that temperature. You may need that light jacket as we move deeper into the evening hours. Hours. Over the next couple of days here, rain chances throughout the 10 day forecast. It has been a very long time since we saw a 10 day like this. I know a lot of people aren't too happy about rain chances over the weekend, but I mean, at this point we need rain so bad. I'll sacrifice a weekend for some rain. Yeah, and a nice weekend in the house. Never hurt anybody. There you go. Take it easy. Take a couple of naps. Or take an umbrella. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Amber.